Once again, thanks for joining us. Holly Shields here reporting for Kalkine TV. Amid worries of Tesla's Bitcoin carbon footprint, we'll be taking a look at three green energy stocks. Bill Gates, in a recent interview with the New York Times, said that he was skeptical of Bitcoin and said that the cryptocurrency was not climate friendly as it used much more electricity per transaction. He was alluding to a host of studies that have shown that mining Bitcoin puts the planet under pressure. Supporting his apprehensions, a study has now found that the recent £1 billion investment made by Tesla in Bitcoin has a carbon footprint that could compete with 1.8 million cars' annual emissions. Last month, in a security filing, Tesla disclosed that it has invested £1 billion in Bitcoin and might also accept cryptocurrency as a mode of transaction in future. Tesla CEO has also said in an interview that he's a believer in Bitcoin. A network of computers called miners process transaction and returns rewards. As the network increases, rewards decrease, which means that more computer backup becomes necessary, leading to more electricity consumption and more carbon dioxide emissions. Analysts of the study said that the complexity of the system gives rise to an environmental cycle of rising carbon dioxide emissions. The study comes at the backdrop of soaring Bitcoin popularity. Since October, it has risen more than 400% and reached a new high of more than $61,000 recently. Though recent studies put Tesla's commitment to creating green credentials on hold, there are green stocks that may not have Bitcoin's popularity yet, but has a good dividend yield. Here are three stocks from the renewables space with over 5% dividend yield. First up is Gore Street Energy Fund. This equity investor, which invests in and manages assets in the renewable energy space, has a dividend yield of 8.49%. The fund's board last week announced an interim dividend worth 2 pence each share for the period 1st of October 2020 to the 31st of December. It also announced that since the 31st of March 2020, the fund's net asset value has increased 5.29% to 99.6 pence per share from 94.6 pence per share. Due to market uncertainties, the company announced a dividend target of 7 pence per share. The company total NAV return was 10.9%. The fund has a one-year return of 16.67% and the shares were trading at GBX 105 down 0.94% on the 18th of March. Next up is the Renewables Infrastructure Group Limited. This British investment trust has a dividend yield of 5.46%. The trust creates investments in assets involved in making electricity from renewable sources. The company declared that in FY20, its portfolio created 3.4%. 3,953 GWH of electricity compared with 3,036 GWH in FY19. The NAV per ordinary share on 31st of December was 115.3 pence compared to 115 pence as of December 2019. It also announced dividends of 6.76 per share as per the target for 2020 against 6.64 pence a year ago. The stock has a one-year return of 11.85%. The shares of the group were trading at GBX 123.73, down by 0.07% on the 18th of March. And next is Greencoat UK Wind. The FTSC 2050 Closed End Investment Trust has a dividend yield of 5.59%. The trust invests mostly in wind farm projects that have a capacity of over 10 MW. For FY20, the company's return on investments increased to 154 million pounds against 88.27 million. Its profit after tax increased 104 million pounds from 43.29 million. And the company's NAV on 31st of December was 122.2 pence. The board recommended an interim dividend worth 32.4 million, which equates to 1.775 pence each share for the first three months. The total dividend for the year was 118.7 million pounds, which is a dividend of 7.1 pence per share. 
and the stock has a one-year return of 7.17%. The shares of the company were trading at GBX 127, up by 0.48% on the 18th of March. And that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in.